So it's September, Labor Day is come and gone, the kids are back in school, football starting up. That means it's fall, guys, and we get to start talking about some of uh, these great fall scents from some of your favorite beard companies. And today we're going to try, I'm going to try my best to get through uh, all of the fall scents from Fable Beard Co. And I think I counted, there's like 11 of them currently on their website. I've got nine of them here. So strap in, hang on. We're going to do the best we can on this. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. Big fan of what Colin does over there at uh, Fable Beard Co. I uh, love the characters. Awesome feeling beard. Uh, just one of my all-time favorite uh, feeling beard oils. It's one of the first times in my uh, beard career, beard journey, whatever you want to call it, where I first noticed my beard feeling soft. I finally had enough experience to realize, oh, wait a minute, this is a little different. This is making my beard feel soft. So I always have a soft spot in my heart uh, because of that. So I've uh, done, and I've worked with Colin a lot over the years. He's always uh, in our fall extravaganza. So uh, we're going to have another one of those here on the channel on October the 5th. So you want to make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. So I've got nine of the scents here. And then I had a, another one that I don't have any more. And then there's another one that I haven't tried. So we're going to just go through these, by the way. Uh, you can get all of these in oil for $17.99, balm for $21.99, uh, butter for $24.99. You can get combos that are available. You can get beard wash, $19.99, conditioner, $24.99. You can get it in deodorant if you're into the natural deodorants, $12.99. Uh, you can get it in spray cologne, $39.99. And they also have t-shirts for some of these really cool characters. So if you're really into that stuff, you can check those out. Those are $25. If you get $75 worth after all your products, uh, discounts and everything that would be free shipping and you can always save 15 percent with the code banjo 15 appreciate you guys doing that helping support the channel so i'm going to go in general from my favorite to my least favorite that's the way i'm going to do it for uh, this video so uh, one of my favorites this year is a new one it's called carney and it is warm kettle corn salted caramel sweet pipe tobacco and you get a little bit of the sweet a little bit of the salty with the salted caramel and then you get the pipe tobacco that kind of uh, lingers on a little bit longer after some of the sweetness sweet notes kind of go away a little bit really enjoy that one that was uh, probably one of the favorites uh, this year from fable for sure uh, and fable usually has pretty strong scents and a lot of these kind of have those uh, traditional fall scents in it the, the caramels the, uh, the the apple the pumpkin the spicy stuff uh, some cinnamon some nutmeg some clove uh, all of that stuff is in there. So uh, if you're really into those traditional fall scents, uh, these are going to be a lot of these you're going to like. Um, so Carney is just slightly different with the kettle corn uh, in it, but it still definitely screams fall. Now, if you're really not into uh, quite so much on the fall, the deep, dark, sweet kind of uh, rich scents that keep going on forever and ever like that, a good option would be to try the Ghost Hunter. And Ghost Hunter is lemon, sweet pipe tobacco, and then some wood. Uh, I really enjoy this one. It's a little uh, bit of a, a, a nice departure with the, you get the pop of lemon and then you get a little bit of sweetness, but uh, you get that uh, tobacco and wood keeps going. That's a really good option if maybe you're not into the pumpkin spice so much. All right. Um, I tend to like apple stuff more than the pumpkin spice because sometimes the spice can just be a little bit too much on it. So I got a couple here that have some apples in it. Uh, so the next one is called the Undead and it is green apple, sour candy, bubble gum. So this one is more like um, a sour apple, right? some sort of sour apple candy or a Jolly Rancher or something like that is the vibe you get from it. I enjoy that one. Don't get too much of the bubble gum, uh, but it, you can kind of get from the profile. There's more of kind of a candy type of vibe. All right. Um, there's another one that as a throwback from last year. I think it actually might be from two years ago and it's called uh, the Harvester. And it's one of my all time favorite scents. This one's a little less on the uh, the sweet foodie side and a little bit more like autumn leaves, kind of uh, autumn air kind of idea. So this one is uh, spiced apple cider, pumpkin and fall breeze. I get more of the fall breeze. Then I do the other stuff, but the, you do get a little bit of the apple cider in it, but it's not overly spicy. 
So if you like a little bit of that kind of uh, autumn vibe, but you don't like the, uh, the cinnamon, nutmeg, clove um, spices, I think Harvester is a great one. Um, uh, let me know if you've tried Harvester before, if you've tried any of these and which ones you prefer. All right. Uh, another new one for this year. I think they're new. Um, I'm just going to go off my memory here as best I can. This one's Scarecrow, Warm Pumpkin Spice, Hay Fields, and Fall Leaves. So this one is a uh, kind of like the Harvester. But then again, it's a little more pumpkin spice mixed in with the um, hay fields and the, and the leaves uh, on that one. So that one's a good one as well. Um, coming up next, we've got Hillbilly. That one is maple moonshine, apples, and vanilla. And let me smell this one again. It's got a lot here that the characters kind of look similar. So this one you get like the, the maple and the apple, not tons of vanilla. And I'm definitely not getting tons of the moonshine. It's not really boozy. Doesn't have that uh, that kind of alcohol smell or bite to it uh, very much. Uh, just another good fall scent. And this one is not pumpkin, right? So if you don't like the pumpkin spice, the maple moonshine apples vanilla would be a little uh, bit better option for you. All right. Uh, coming up next, we've got the Beard Master. And this is for my leather folks out there. Uh, one of my uh, channel members here, uh, Andrew, I know he's a big fan of leather. So the Beard Master is um, aged leather, honey, and apple trees. It's not overly sweet, but uh, leather and apples goes very well together. I've had a couple of those type of scents uh, in the past. And um, if you like the leather scents, it's more kind of a traditional leather scent. I've smelled some other things similar to it. And then you get a little bit of the honey and the apple. It's just a really good blend. If you like leather, I don't tend, I tend to like leather very much because it usually goes on a little longer than I want it to. Uh, I, I, like, I like it to start with. And then, you know, 15 minutes later, it's like, okay, I'm tired of smelling this leather. But uh, that one's called um, Beard Master. All right. I got two more here. So we've got one called Monster Brew. And Monster Brew is brown sugar, pumpkin pie, spicy nutmeg, vanilla latte. So that one's got a little bit of the coffee vibe. So there's like every different variety, uh, variation of fall, autumn leaves, pumpkin spice, apple, caramel, maple. It's all in here in one of these scents somewhere. So something for everybody for sure. Uh, and this one to me is a little bit too rich and sweet. Uh, I don't get tons of coffee on it, but I think it's the spicy nutmeg that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. So once again, that's one of those rich uh, pumpkin spice kind of scents with a little bit of latte in it. And then the last one that I have here is called uh, Camper, and that's pumpkin spice, uh, maple woods, clove, and smoky bourbon. And I'm getting like a cinnamon in it. I guess it's the clove. So this one did not uh, suit me very well I, I, with my skin. I put it on. I had like a little bit of, uh, you know, some tingling sensation. And this one went on all day, uh, a little too strong for my liking. Uh, so that one was called the Camper. There's also two other ones available currently. Uh, one is called Lumberjack, which I've tried last year or the year before. Um, but it was pumpkin, no, excuse me, maple syrup, maple leaves, cabin woods. And it was a little too much maple syrup kind of stuff for me. And then there's one called the Doll Maker. I have not tried because it sounded a little too rich and sweet, but it's a little bit different. Uh, so it, it's not pumpkin spice or apple spice. It's butterscotch, buttered rum, candy corn, and caramel. And I might actually like that one because it doesn't have the spices in it, but I haven't tried it. If you've tried Doll Maker, let me know. Or if you've tried another uh, uh, one of your favorite fall scents from Fable, uh, let us know which ones that is. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching and uh, enjoy the fall season and the cool weather and the football and all of that stuff. And we'll be seeing you soon.